what's up guys welcome back to another video you see me so in today's video we're going to be coding in a subscriber's bmw one series with bima code you see me so with that said let's get straight into the video all right so you know you're gonna need your obd2 scanner and you're gonna need the bima code app so you're gonna plug your obd2 scanner into your obd2 port and put your car in accessory mode by pressing the start stop button once all right so now we're on the bima code app you see me so you're gonna hit the type of car you have this car is a BMW 1 series, so you're gonna press continue. And then you're gonna wait for it to load. And once it's inside, I'll get back to you guys, you see me? All right, so now we're inside. So we're gonna go into each row. So we're gonna start at the top, advanced crash safety module. You see me? And then you wait for it to load. All right, so now we're in. So in this module, it's for a seat belt noise that your car normally makes when your seat belt is not on you see me so we're not going trouble right here you see me so we just have to go back and then we're going to go to electronic transmission control because we're not think air conditioning and all room view camera really that necessary you see it so electronic transmission control you see me all right so in here you have the sport automatic transmission you see me so i'll go ahead Press active, go back. And we want also coding launch control. So you'll go to expert mode, press continue. Application. The last one, which is LC launch control. And you're going to press active, which is already active. You're going to go back. Press code in the top right hand corner. You yeah, see me? And then it start coding. You yeah, see me? All right, so the sport automatic transmission, you're supposed to see S1, S2, S3 when you're driving and so forth, you see me? All right, so we're gonna move on to the next one now, which is front electronic module, you see me? So we're gonna wait on it for load. All right, so now we're in. So the first thing is ambient lighting brightness. Go to 100%, go back, scroll down. Convenient opening, active, go back. Convenient opening remote control. Active, go back. Scroll down, convenient closing. Active, go back. Convenient closing remote control. Active, go back. Convenient closing with remote with comfort access, go back. Daytime running light mode. Active, with also with parking lights. Go back. Daytime running light brightness. 100% go back scroll down uh, fold and unfold mirrors automatically active go back fold mirrors with convenient closing active active yeah and I guess that's it for this module then you hit code and start coding, you see me? So once it's finished, I'll get back to you guys. All right, so fold and unfold the mirrors, close, open, and also with the windows, Also close with the windows. Alright, so also with comfort access and open with the key in your pocket, you see me? Alright, so also with the daytime running lights activated. Once you open the car and once you close it, they turn off, you see me? All right, so now we're inside. So the first thing, checkbox daytime running light, active, go back, start animation. We're gonna put it to M variant one, go back, tire pressure control, display temperature and pressure, go back, and then sport displays color. We're gonna put it in red. And then video in motion is already activated and then that's it so you're gonna press code in the top right hand corner 
I'll start recording. Yeah, Zimmy, so once it's finished coding, I'll get back to you guys, Zimmy. Alright, so not all cars have the daytime running like checkbox, right? Sometimes you have to code them in. So here is where the daytime running like checkbox comes in, you see me? So you can activate and deactivate the daytime running lights from your iDrive system, you see me? Alright, so here is where you also change your sport display color from orange to red, you see? Alright, so now we are going to the next module, which is the instrument cluster, you see me? And then we are going to wait for it to load. Once it's inside, we we'll link up back, you see me? Alright, so digital speed in board computer. That's digital um, speed display. I press active, go back. Date in board computer. Active, go back. Empty menu. Now I'm not going to touch that. M performance logo. 135i. Go back. Star logo. M performance. Go back. And then that's it for this module. You see me? So you're going to press code. You see me? Once it's coded, you link up back. You see me? Alright, so here's the M performance logo before startup, you see me? So once you open your car, before you even starting it, you're going to see this logo, you see me? Also, here is the M135i badge that we just coded in, you see me? So once you're driving, that badge is always going to be right there, you see me? And also we have the digital speedometer. So when you're moving, you're gonna see that digital while you're driving, you see me? All right, so we are moving on to the next module now, which is the rear electronic module. You see me? So, we will go ahead and enter that module. What is inside? We link up back, you see me? All right, so now we are in, so we are going daytime running light, outer part, active, go back. Daytime running light, tail lights, inner part, active, go back. And then we're gonna scroll down and then that's practically it for this module, you see me? And you press code and you start coding. So for this, once you open your car, with your daytime running lights at the front, also the tail lights will be on once you open your car, you see me? It's gonna look really beautiful, especially in the night, you see it? All right, so this is the BMW 1 series that I worked on today, you see me? I we'll also just changed these grills to the black M Sport grills. Give you a quick shot of the interior. With the M Performance badge for the subscriber. Go on to the rear. It's a really lovely one series, isn't it? Mm hmm. Alright, so that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel. So with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.